Uh, one of the missing links in uh, performance enhancement has always been um, brain. Brain enhancement of performance, especially whether you're an amateur athlete, a high school, college athlete, pro athlete, you want to enhance your performance so that you run faster, that you can make a cut better, that you can see what's happening on the field of play better than you did before. And that is really kind of shaving uh, seconds off your reaction time. Now we do a lot of physical exercise, but brain exercise has been lacking in the field of performance enhancement. People that have cognitive delay or beginning dementia or Alzheimer's. We look with people who uh, or have had an accident or a fall or an illness who've lost their performance in work, in everyday life, um, their emotional balance, their mental balance, and their physical balance. Well, just like a person who's going to rehabilitate their brain to bring out the performance of all their systems so that they work together and they perform at their optimal. So when you have someone with traumatic brain injury, you want to bring them back to optimal performance or as near normal as possible. With an athlete who wants to perform better on the field, you want to take his near normal performance and you want to enhance it so they're a little higher. That if they're a runner, they run faster. If they're a um, baseball player, they can field better, they hit the ball, they can see the ball and the bat come together so that they are performing better. And that makes, in, in the world of sport, a winner. We have a lot of tools in the office that can enhance the brain and body's performance in many different ways. We have gyrostim, we have lasers, we have um, three-dimensional virtual world uh, situations that we can do to enhance performance. But with performance enhancement, the first thing you have to do is number one, measure it. You have to know where you're starting from so that you know where you're going and you know if you're going in the right direction or not, whether you're enhancing performance or you're decreasing performance. Or you can see an object, you can follow an object better. It can be with balance, it can be auditory, where you can hear within your auditory grid around you what's going on. So you wanna see, you wanna hear your environment, but you also want to have good balance where the vestibular system is working better. And you also want to have good proprioception or good feeling so you know where you are in space with your hands and your feet and so forth. You want to have strength. You want to have muscular strength, core strength. You also want to have good heart function, good breathing, and you want to have good digestion so that you supply your body with all the nutrients it needs to function properly. And that takes an overall complete rehabilitation of the body, just like you would want to rehabilitate someone that has had a brain injury.